So welcome to my first project for my 2014 holiday project series. Um, the first project I'm making actually is a card and I'm going to be using this stamp set from Stampin' Up! called Wondrous Wreath and a cut file from the Silhouette online store. I think it's called a two curved card base or something. I'm not sure the exact name. I'll link it below. But anyways, I'm going to jump right in and get started with the card. Before I even get started with my stamping, I'm going to adhere my white panel down to my work surface so that it doesn't move around. And I just used a little bit of removable adhesive so that when I stamp this first layer um, of the wreath in pistachio pudding, it doesn't move around. Now I'm moving on to the second layer of the wreath and you can see there's a little nub that sticks up at the top of this part of the stamp. All the layers have that little nub at the top to help you get everything straight or the right direction so you're not sitting and spinning the stamp around trying to figure out how it fits. So I'm just stamping the second layer of leaves in Mossy Meadow and now I'm going to do the same thing, line up that nub at the top and stamp the berries in Cherry Cobbler. So now I'm going to stamp my greeting onto the front panel of my card and it says Happy Wonderful Christmas and it's also from the Wondrous Reef stamp set. So that's in Cherry Cobbler ink so it matches the berries. Now the berries looked fine but I wanted them to stand out a little bit more so I used a little bit of um, stickles, I think the color is Christmas red, to make it stand out and I'm just going to set it aside and let it dry while I work on the inside part of the card. The pattern paper is from Stampin' Up! as well and it's called Trim the Tree and I'm just going to adhere the um, stripe pattern onto the bottom portion of the card and the top part is the white part that is is too big to fit on the inside of the card so I'm going to have to trim off a portion um, so it fits underneath that flap and I wasn't surprised that it didn't fit because that's actually the same panel from the front of the card it's not um, a separate piece when you open up that cut file. Before I adhere my front panel, I'm just going to stamp the sentiment on the inside in Cherry Cobbler ink and that's it.